Hello, this is Matthew Perucho here. I wanted to show you guys a little bit. Um, I've done in the past uh, different kinds of hardware that you should buy for um, for keyboard software technology and how to configure and set it up. But today I kind of want to show you a basic understanding of my setup that I use on my, um, my, my computer. So what I use is I use a system called... Uh, I use a digital audio workstation, also known as a DAW, and uh, I use, there's many different kinds you can use, but the one that I use is called Ableton Live. Um, I don't have the newest version of it, but this is my setup for Ableton Live. It looks something like this. I have a ton of presets. Um, Ableton Live is great because uh, it helps, and it's better in more of like a live setting where you're doing a corporate worship to play worship songs. Um, in a live way, if you want to do like a, some loops, you can all you can kind of create them spontaneously easier with Ableton Live in comparison to other um, other uh, digital audio workstations. So, I want to teach you a little bit about the terminology. I'm not going to go into detail of the terminology, but this long row is called the scenes. So this would be scene one, scene two, scene three, and scene four. Then you have your channels. So you have channel one two, three, four, like that. So the ones that go down. And these individual things are called clips. This is where you can record something, like a, a, the sound from that software, and that will create a, um, what you're looking for, and it will repeat over and over and over again. Okay, so that's that's a little bit about the terminology and vocab of, of this. And then um, uh, arming a track. So you do is this, this red button down here. And so some of these are already read, so I'll, I'll, turn, I'll turn some of these off. Um, I'll just do one at a time. So if I wanted to turn on this sound here, I would arm it like this. I would actually like this one. Arm it like this. Then I'm going to turn the volume up, and then I play note. And there's a the sound. So that's how you kind of armor track as well, and so um, and how you would create uh, one of these little bars. Some people are like, oh, you have all these things. How do you create these little these little channels? And so basically, what you do is you go to uh, there's a shortcut, but I won't teach you the shortcut right now. But you go up to create, create MIDI track, and it pops up right there. Okay, and then you can take a if you have a separate plugin, which we'll talk about later, you can plug them in. Uh, but I'll, what I'll probably do is I'll do um, instruments, instrument rack. I'll drag instrument rack up uh, da down to here. And then you close that. You go to sounds, and there's many, many different kind of sounds you can use. I'll just pick a random one. I'll, say, I'll pick this, and I'll just drag this down here. And that pops up. There's settings for that. And then um, you have to arm it, and then you hit some buttons. You can change the way that the sound quality is with the effects here. So that's kind of the basics of, of setting up um, Ableton Live settings here. And so, uh, so there's that. And um, next uh, video, I'm going to talk about kind of like how I organize my setup here on Ableton Live.